Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you to Scalar 2 for the iPad. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So what is Scalar 2? Scalar 2 is an award winning music theory workstation and indeed it can do much more than just theory. It can for example detect uh, a note uh, through media or through audio, it can suggest scale, it can uh, create the melody, bass line, etc, etc. This video is just an introduction and if there is enough interest I will continue the series of tutorial. So it works uh, standalone but it also works inside a host like in this case AUM as a, an AUV3 instance. So let's click on the plus sign and create an audio channel. The reason I'm starting from scratch is because I want to show you that there are different products for Scalar 2 and I'm, go I'm not going to go through them all now in this video but I will come back with uh, additional tutorial to explain the differences between them. But now let's select Scalar 2, not the Scalar Light. Additionally, you could load also Scalar 2 as an insert effect. Let me show you. And in this case, you have a product called Scalar Audio 2. Finally, you can also create a MIDI channel. And again, you can search for a, a Scalar there and you have something called Scalar Control 2. Okay, and I will explain again all of those and the differences in a future tutorial. Now let's expand the scalar too and let's maximize the, vin the window. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, uh, you have a, a keyboard at the top. If I press on some of the keys, it plays a piano and the piano select is easier. It's called felt piano. Indeed, if you click on it, you can choose different instrument, which is really, really nice. Uh, remember, you need to buy an uh, in-app purchase um, uh, additional set of features, which gives you, which unlocks all the features and gives you more core set, more instrument and things like that. And although it looks expensive, I think it is actually um, well worth the price because of what the application can do. But just to give you an idea, here you have a menu where you can clear the state, you can synchronize between different instances, really, really nice. You can import, export, I go through all of those in uh, additional uh, tutorials. Up here, you can set MIDI, it detects MIDI um, in and also audio in, in terms of detecting, for example, chords, and then it detects the scale. Here, for example, is where you can set your perform settings in terms of having uh, uh, arpeggio played on the notes of the chord, strumming. It, it can even generate bass line and melody lines based in, on the chord notes uh, detected or, for example, the scale that you have selected. You have setting for key lock, voice lock, humanization, and then here you have a huge selection for the settings of the application. As I explained, this is the keyboard. You have a selection for instrument here. I'm not going through all of the settings in this introductory video. Here under the um, section A, you have detect for detection. Okay, the scales. Okay, and indeed you can play scale, for example. You have access to songs, which you can, uh, for example, get uh, nice, interesting um, chord progression, which you can choose. You can also select. Uh, a code progression, for example, from artist as well, which is really, really nice. So, for example, we choose one like that, we choose fame, and you have straight away a set of chords, which you can click play and you can listen. Okay, and the, the, the crazy thing is that you can do so many things. Let me show you. Let's click on perform. Okay, and let's go, for example, on uh, um, bass line. And let's say that I want to do a trans bass, the trans one. Okay, we'll come out from that menu. And then we choose, for example, here, a bass, like uh, a FM bass. Let's click play. So really, really nice. Here you see the tactic scale, one of 794, and you can play each one of them, of course, and you can click and have also a 
you can go deeper on the scale and also play uh, the chords on top of the scales and you can have different settings and even voicing is fantastic it's really really nice of course depending of course at the moment i have it to perform so let's remove perform and let's select uh, um for example let's uh, go up here and let's select again that felt piano which uh, was really nice let's play again let's change the voicing for example I forgot to mention that you can have different views as well uh, you, you know in terms of what it represents on the screen not just the keyboard as well okay and down here you have patterns so you can create patterns of codes and I will explain all of that in a future tutorial we are in main view at the moment you can go in sequencer view you can go in code views you can go in pad views and you can go also in modulation view so lots and lots of different options Okay, I'm going to stop here. This is just an introduction to Scalar 2 for the iPad. So great news that it has landed for iOS. And uh, let me have your comments. And if there is an, enough interest, I will progress with uh, tutorials on Scalar 2 for the iPad on iOS. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.